we can now officially start the stream. So we're doing a little bit of a change to our standard 75. We've dropped one mutagenic growth from the main board and we've dropped one weather the storm from the sideboard. What we've replaced those with is Uro, the Titan of Nature's Wrath. Because it gains us a life, draws us some cards, and it's just a big body to help close out the game if we get to the point where we need it. Most people probably aren't going to be bringing in Graveyard Hate against Infect, so it's another just... Aha. Uh -huh. Attack them from another angle that they're not expecting. But, yeah. So let's go ahead and hop ourselves into Modern League here. Hopefully we can go at least 2-3. See you guys for match number one. All right. Down to match one. Let's see. All right. We'll take the play. And got threats and pump. We'll try it. Let's see. There we go. Water Log Grove and Glisten Ralph pass the turn. Okay. Misty Rainforest fetched nothing else. Do we go for the four? I think we do. Try to go for this ground swell. Try to see if we can connect for five. Looks like we're not going to be able to. Probably fetching for path or push. That's fine by us. We've got plenty of other threats. Okay, so it's Bant bullshit. Blighted agent. Oh, neat. No counter. Uh, we don't have any protection magic. We'll just go shields down here. And this way they can't to fairy bounce. Well, now they can go counter. Okay, they have a remand. Sure. Remand and now it's a fairy bounce. Oh, tapped field. That's pretty good for us. I'd really like not blighted agents or not threats at this point. We need more pump. So Bant Field of the Dead. Interesting. Flooded agent number two. As remand. This one, Ralph. Pass turn. <laughs> opponent doesn't want to play that game. 
All right, we draw we draw Pendlehaven. That's interesting. So we take them to nine because we'd animate, we'd Pendlehaven one of our guys. We'd swing for four. Yeah. Okay, so this is a controlish matchup. We want Uros, we want Veil, we want Spell Skite. So we're bringing in five. What do we not want? Um, the commitment seems a bit slow. We could also bring in mystical disputes, but we didn't really see counter magic. So I feel veils and spell pierces ought to be enough. Um, we can shave on the scale up and some vines. Shave, shave, and then shave on mutagenic. Yeah, we'll try that. Hmm. So... No, we mulligan. This will keep. Bottoming. Distortion strike. Okay. So it's four color scape shift. Okay, so they hold up remand here. Spell sky eat their remand. No? Cool. Sadly, we're missing our land drop. Listen, Ralph. So the problem is this is anger mana. I don't want to play out another Glistener Elf into anger. So we'll swing for one here. One set. 15 plus 8. Okay, there's a growth spiral. So it looks like it's mainly teamer with a splash of white. So they don't have a cryptic. Old Carosa. Blossoming defense. Veil of Summer. As Ice Fang. Okay. Nice Fang draws a card. Hmm. 
<laughs> I believe it has hex proof. I don't necessarily know if that gives it protection. Okay, so they can still block it. That's what I was unsure about. Swing for six. Nice fang. Yep. Moves the block. Sounds good. Pass turn. Aether Gusts, sure. They search for tomorrow here. And get themselves another snow covered island. Scale up is interesting. We'll try to resolve a Glistener Elf. If we go scale up on the Spell Sky, swing for seven. Puts them to eight. Then make Spell Sky beats start to hurt. Eh, we'll wait and see. So the problem is... Green, green, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're getting scape shifted. More than likely. We're trying to avoid here. They've got three in hand. We need to avoid the scape shift. Grow spiral draws. It's a land. Do they have the scape shift? That's what this comes down to here. Would you look at that? They do. Neat. I just want to see how many. I want to make sure that you've got the mountains for it. Okay, so it is scape shift. We'll bring in the disputes. Eh. Now we just need to be faster.
and has absolutely zero pump, but is filled with threats, so we'll keep. Fetch and shock for this breeding pool. Play out a glistener elf past the turn. Field of the dead. Man, if this had a turn two. Like, what? You can't force of negation this? <laughs> hmm. Okay, we knock him to one, we pass the turn. So... Well, they now have remand mana. Or mana leak mana. Or aether gust mana. All of those are options here. Okay, we'll play a land for the turn. We'll do target creature gets plus one plus two. Swing with them both. We will fetch for a forest and try to land this Glistener Elf. I'm assuming this eats a remand. <laughs> Aether Gust is the other one, sure. Yeah, what? Well, why would I put that on? Like, this is now four. We draw a card. It's not a pump spell, so we play this. We hit you for nine. We play out the second flighted agent. There we go. There we go. Match two. Neat. My buddy did the Gen Con championship. Okay, and doesn't have any threats, mulligan. Mm, keep bottom this arbor. Now be hand disruption dot, oh. Cool, it's not hand disruption dot deck. Do this, fetch for a breeding pool, pay the live, play out this hierarch. 
and pass the turn. They go fetching. Hmm. Water grave shocked in push the noble hierarch. Okay. Soul tie, that's not good. They draw a card. So this is definitely probably Sultai Reclamation. Definitely probably. for the turn. Not bad. We want what? Ideally the comments off the top. If we can get becomments we'll be in the crystal clear. And that is not becoming mints. We could crack. I'm not opposed to that, but I think we just get in for one here. We have one blue out. Let me do that. We land this blighted agent and we pass the turn. Yep. There's the card we hate to see. What do you have, opponent? You have the push? Cool. I would love to go get a basic forest. I didn't have the protection spell anyway. We now go get Dryad Arbor. Okay. So we have plus six here. A growth spiral. They can now arrow. Blue, blue, green, green, arrow. Yep. Arrow's good. So this is plus six. One more pump spell off the top, does it? 
They'll get to untap. That won't do it for us. Make it five. Take him to seven. Actor fiction. So if they have a way to take another turn here, we'll lose our Blighted Agent. Oh wait, they draw off of Uro. We're not winning at this point, are we? Because they'll go to 20. We go down to 7. Arrow's tapped, so we can kill him with Glistener Elf. So do they have the additional turn? Well, there's the growth spiral. Shocks in breeding pool. Ouch. With a draw like that, we're going to have a hard time. They went to nine. I guess because now they can. Yep. Since they can push, crack, go grab Mystic, grab push with Mystic Sanctuary, put push back on top, drop for the turn.
Mm-hmm. Now we have to block. To try to buy us enough time. No, 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 no. Undo. keyword is try because I'm assuming that they're going to wilderness here oh no additional turn and scale up our draw that's not a creature that won't win us the game Exact same boarding as we did last time. That's unfortunate that we ran into four color scape shift. That was really team or scape shift that then managed to splash white for path but that's all that we saw it splash white for we're going to assume it was four color and they were also running things like teferi now we're facing sultai reclamation <clears throat> okay i would love to play first No threat, but protection and pump. Mulligan. No pump, but lands galore. Hmm. We just need to be faster and hope they don't have removal. Okay, well. Leading off on a Mystic Sanctuary has me concerned. We don't have pump. It's not even hide. Let's just go full aggro. Terrible draw for us. No point to get the exalted trigger when it's just one damage. Where did Foothills pass the turn? They crack that delta. Probably gets Watergrave tapped. Breeding pool. Shocks it in, meaning that growth spiral. Yep. Tapped tar pit.
track that for a breeding pool tapped. And let's go ahead and draw ourselves a card here. Okay, there we go. Campaign costs. And gain control of noble hierarch. Sure. So, plus one, so two, four, seven, have force of negation opponent. You had the force of negation. We'll knock you to seven. Any pump spell kills. Castle Vantress. Factor fiction. So we do the piles like so, so that way they're more tempted to take this push backed pile because they can push our blighted agent right here right now. And then they have another factor fiction, but then they lose out on snap and brazen. If they take the snap brazen bar plane land, they can't do anything else this turn. Okay, yeah. So they took the um, push back file. I guess they can land as well. Yep. You got it, opponent. Oh, get sacked. We gain three life. We draw a card. We put a land into play. We can't arrow again right now, but that's fine. Opponent needs to come up with an answer to this glistener elf. Hey, 
they have three in hand, we know it's fact or fiction, two unknowns. Fetch for a watery grave. Shocks it in. What is their plan to block with this tar pit? Yep, their plans to block with the tar pit. bite I'll trade a pump spell for your land that's unblockable aether gust Good try. And next turn we can arrow to start drawing cards. their factor fictioning to try to find an answer. Arrow, cryptic, or plague engineer? Okay. So I took the plague engineer pile. We play out the Misty Rainforest. So their hand is Plague Engineer, Snow Covered Island, two unknowns. We don't draw with this Waterlogged Grove. Swing for one. To give it plus two. We'll take them to nine. The problem is in the battle of arrows, it's pretty much the first one that resolved. Hmm. <laughs> What, do you have Aether Gust? Growth Spirals. Puts the island into hand. Oh, Field of the Dead. Okay. They're about to start making X Blas. That's fine.
but they'll be able to block every turn. They Plague Engineer. All right, this should be Snow Covered Island Plague Engineer. Yep. Plague Engineer, they name Elf. Or they cast their own arrow into a Plague Engineer. Okay. Ah, because they can make more zombies and overrun us faster this way. They can actually not even have to bother trading. A plague engineer named Elf. In all honesty, you name Blighted Agent. I want to say you don't kill the Glistener Elf. Because they've got so many ways to deal with Glistener Elf. Well, so they just throw their plague engineer under the bus. Second, Field of the Dead's pretty good for him. force you to have counter magic like you're crazy if you think I'm not gonna force you to have counter magic pushes our arrow in response sure hmm What's this last card in their hand? A Wilderness Reclamation? Okay, I mean, you have nothing to do with all this excess mana. You can float four, you can untap, you can use that four floating to Castle Vantress to scry. Okay. Don't like how they put one on top. We draw, we draw terribly. Green, blue, one. Arrow. Arrow gets sacked. We gain three. We can't put anything into play. At that spell skite.
this point we're trying to dig for blighted agent or have opponent clock themselves out which isn't happening by the way because i just have to swing with this army three times Okay. Like, what are you, cryptic? Tap my team, draw a card. Sixteen twenty-two. So we have to block there. We take sixteen. We can block, block, and take fourteen. Opponents skip through their combat. Maybe opponent will clock. Oop, yep. <laughs> Said oops. Yep. I was wondering about that one. Do they have the Nexus of Fate here? Scries to. One on bottom, one on top. Well, there's our best shot at getting out of this. Noble Hierarch, Glistener Elf. A spell Skite. And we have up the blossoming defense. And factor fictions. Done. Yeah, I knew which pile you were picking. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Torrential, factor fiction, torrential. Cryptic. Yeah. Mm, is, what I want to see okay so it's tap draw yep <laughs> opponent smacks us for 22 and they make some zombies we need exactly distortion strike in the top two cards. I mean, we're dead if it gets back to their turn. So let's thin as much as possible. Okay. There we go. Oh, not bad. But. Oh, or you just weren't going to get there against Salt Eye Control. Man. If we had ripped the Distortion Strike there. Gone Distortion Strike, gone to game three. They had four minutes on the clock. 
Match three, let's go. Let's see if match number three is going to be any better. All right, we won the die roll. We will gladly take this play. Um, It's tempting, but if they kill our hierarch, we might never draw the land. So this hand's tempting just to see how strong is Uro in Infect. Let's experiment. We'll put Mind of Old Krosa back. They mulligan to five. By the way, this is not a hand I would normally keep. I don't think this hand is good enough. They mulligan to three. So we might get this, even though this hand isn't that great. As we go turn one hierarch turn two Uro put in one of these other lands can we turn four no because we'd only have three cars in the yard gemstone mine so this is probably ad nauseum I don't think Uro is going to be strong enough against that nauseum. Gain three life, draw a card. Put that. Uro gets sacked. Pass the turn. It also doesn't help that we're flooding out, but. Oh, this also could be just. Gemstone Mine could also be Neobrand. But I don't think Neobrand would bother playing out at three cards. Okay, so pump spell off the top, we can have this Ink Moth get in for quite a bit, and then have enough fuel. Eh? We'll get halfway there. Assuming they draw a card off this waterlogged grove. Okay. Okay, definitely Neo Brand. Anamorphos digging to try to get there because they know that they might be dead next turn. They went green and blue, hoping to find Neoformed and now Allosaurus Rider into. Okay. They conceded. We had them two turns. Yep, two turns. It was going to be just the fetch land hit for three, they'd be at eight. And then, okay. So it's Neobrand. We want these disputes in. This 
Spell Sky can come out. This Distortion Strike can come out. Burrow's not that great. But we don't have anything else we want to be bringing in. So we just run it. The reason we bring in the Disputes is because if they have Neoform, we can tell them no. Um... Turn one, turn two, turn three kill. I mean, it's Neoform. They're either getting there or they're not. We could hold up interaction. Is the ideal scenario. Okay, so they cycle the center's deliverance. Interesting. Anamorphos. Anamorphos again. Man, they are digging. We'll just play out the Blighted Agent and pass. Hold up Vines as protection. <laughs> okay. And that's a great draw for us. Cast that with a kicker. Might have old combat. Tenya. Neo brand, baby. Sometimes the deck does nothing. And that's my problem with the deck, is either you get to play a game of Magic and your opponent has to sit there and watch, or you spin your wheels for a bit trying to get there and can't, so you got to watch your opponent play Magic and you didn't. Some people like that gamble. All right. Onwards to match four. No threat. And keep bottom of defense. No, eh, yeah, bottom defense. That's our hope here, is that defense is going to be good enough to get us there. It definitely ain't guaranteed, however. Warded Foothills, Cracks Foothills, what do they get? Steam Vent, Shocks it in, so this is probably Speedy Gonzalez, Blue Red Prowess. Yep. Which point if their stuff starts targeting our face or our creatures instead of our face, we lose. Especially considering how we kept a one lander. We don't get punished for the one lander though. Hope this Hyrule gets to stick around for a turn. Okay, so they give him crash through. We're not going to be blocking anyway.
I guess I had to have drawn that off of their crash through there, or else they wouldn't have played it. Or they would have played it before crashing through. No blocks. Take three, go to 16, in step, this happens. Okay. We will fetch for a basic here. Just in case they run main deck Blood Moon. Blighted Agent passed the turn. Sprite Dragon. Neat. You're dead, opponent. I mean, opponent's not dead. They could have Gut Shot. Neat. You're dead, opponent. Bye bye. Onwards with the game, too. Okie doke. So we want the arrow, we want the goifs. Um, distortion strikes are needed. Pierces are mediocre at best. Spell Skite's pretty good. In all honesty, we should probably bring in the other one. So we're looking at six. Vines are hard to cast from the double green. We'll shave on a scale up. Then we'll shave on the pierces. And we'll cut a number of glistener elves. And bring back in the pierces. Just from the aspect of, well, Pierce isn't a great spell. No. No, because they could run Blood Moon. Well, if you're worried about Blood Moon anyway, doesn't matter. This mana base can't cast Uro with Blood Moon. Well, it can. It requires Hierarchs. Um, this is a keep. <laughs> Turn one Hierarch, turn two Hierarch Goyf. Turn three Goyf into. Like. Steam Vince. Shocks it in. They went down to five. They shocked it and didn't do anything. Concerned what his opponent trying to do. Fetch for a basic forest here. Play out this hierarch. Pass the turn. Because I am legitimately scared of Blood Moon. They have opt. Sure. They liked the card. They drew it. I lit. Well, now I want to keep up spell peers. This is just goy fast turn. Sure, you can opt. Hmm. They like the card that they saw.
So I'm hoping we get to... Something we're gonna... I guess I could have mutagenic growth. Because now they can blood moon. That shuts them off of blue. Is that really what they want to do? Swift Spears, sure. Ops, okay. They have one card left in hand. So they drew blindly off of the opt. If they swing, we can block and pump. And surgical extractions are spell pierce to prowess their... has second surgical okay <laughs> hate out on goif more opponent i'm fine with that this opponent has nothing in hand and just a swiss spear out And that's why we run two of each fetch land. So our Goyf will die. And their Swiss Spear has damage marked on it. They now have no cards in hand. Green that Goyf second noble. Last turn. Assuming this is an islet to draw, yep. They grew our goif to the point where it's not good for them. They're not going to swing. They're at 13. Hmm. Swing that in the air. It's three, and then we have seven next turn. Neat. Rosa. Has the gut shot. Move the stack. Runs well. A 
doesn't die the gut shot. Here comes a 2 2. It's now 6. Swing for lethal. Do you have Bolt? If you have Bolt, I have the Blossoming Defense. You have to flinch first here. Cool. And that's how you beat Blue Red Prowess as Infect. All right. So, Control started off not so fun, but we've managed to come back this league and we're now currently 3-1. No matter what, we made our money back this league. Let's end it, hopefully, on a great high note. There we go. Let's see how we roll on match number five. Hands great when you can't cast any of your spells. <laughs> um... So, it has potential to just turn three opponent. I'm not opposed. We'll try it. It's got potential to just turn three. From the aspect of turn two, might have old, turn three, might have old. If opponent doesn't have blockers. <laughs> I feel that's a little bit too optimistic. to not have blockers and not have interaction. But hey, you never know. Mount. Okay. Well, we're on the prowess matchup again. This hand's not so hot against them. Do that, pass the turn. So if they have the bolt, we just lose our glistener. If it's a gut shot, we may be mutagenic as a way to trade with the soul scar. Oh, this might just be mono red prowess though. Okay, yeah, that's the bolt. So that just happens. We draw. Ooh. That's a pretty nice draw. However, we still just glisten our elf here, pass. We're taking way too much damage off this waterlogged grove. Lava darts targeting us. Okay. Well, that lava dart's gonna happen. I like my glistener off too much. They light up the stage. Makes sense. Especially if their other card here is light up the stage. Ouch, that hurt. So we could trade with one. Let's see if they want to flash back this lava dart. They do, that's fine. So they won't trade, we take four. It's still prevented four damage. So prevented two, because we took two, we're down to nine. They have one card in hand. 
And two lands to be played next turn. Oh, wait. So... That's exactly what we needed, right? Because this, go get a basic forest... They either have us dead or they don't. They need two spells. No, they need one burn spell. They could draw a card off the canyon. That's not a burn spell. Cool. We somehow take game one. Snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. They could have got shot. I shouldn't be so celebratory this early. They could have got shot. They do not. Get you to 10 poison counters. Cool. <laughs> All right. Snatching victory from the Jaws of Defeat. Bring in this Uro. Bring in these Goifs. And bring in another Spell Skite. Uh, board out. The Mutagenics. They just hurt a bit too much. And shave on some Glistener Elves. And a couple of Vines of Astwood. Bring back into mutagenic just because it's a great kind of gotcha. Run it like so. Hmm. So this will give us. We have yet to really see Uro perform. It was kind of useful in the Sultai matchup. But they were just able to... So, Hand doesn't do much. It's got to turn 3 Uro to save us some life. A Spell Skite, which can go on blocking duty really well. And a Blighted Agent. Mulligan. Keep this bottoming basic forest. Yeah. Islet Swiss Spear, Islet Soul Scar, even worse. Worse for us, not worse for the matchup. Okay, that, this, trading pool, shock it in, hierarch, fast turn. Assuming bolt the bird. Crash through, not bolt, cool. Okay, they didn't keep a one lander. Bobble. Okay. You want to see what we're drawing. And there's the bolt on the bird. We take four, go to 13. They draw off of Bobble. We draw the Spell Pierce that they saw. In all honesty, is Spell Pierce worth it? No, we just force them to have answers. I mean, we know that they're burned. They're going to have answers. But at the same time, when we have Inkwath next eye. Ah, I 
like that line. The two to each, the prowess to get his guy out of kill range. That is, that is nice. We go down to 11. Opponent stepped out, however. Ink Moth, make sure the newly controlled one gets tapped for mana, then we animate. And now we go Groundswell, give it plus four, plus four. Begin combat, swing for five. Does opponent have burn, burn, burn? Nope. Cool. Opponent now needs two burn spells to not die. How interesting. Having to hold up burn spells to not just be dead. Tap this. Mm, might have old Krosa. It's Lava Dart. I'm going to make you flash it back. Cool. You got your lava dart. All right, so they had the interaction. Not what we wanted to see, but they now only have two cards. Crash through. Is their other card a burn spell? Manamorphos, which is lethal. All right. So we didn't manage to sneak away game two. Let's see if we can win game three, though. They had exactly what they needed to. If it was a bolt, they wouldn't have been able to do anything. They needed exactly lava dart there. Nope, well again. Um This hand isn't great. But I still think it's a eh, no, we mulligan to five. This hand has no land, so we have to mulligan to four. We have to mulligan to three. Okay, as far as what three we're keeping. I guess it's Goyf in two lands. What did Foothills pass the turn? This isn't good that our opponent started at seven. Opponent gets in for one. We'll go get a tapped breeding pool. We are riding on the back of Goyf, please be good enough. The problem is if they have instant, if they have bolt and Goyf dies. Or stomp. The stomp won't put. Yep. Well, looks like we're going to end up 3 2. Can't complain. 
a little bit unfortunate. We should have kept that seven. That was questionable. Or the six, whatever it was. Ooh. Apparently, we should have only kept one land. Blood Moon. Sure. We can still cast it. Just have to get a noble hierarch to resolve. I don't need to resolve but to stick around for a turn. Play the bone crusher out. They hit us for one. We go down to 13. There we go. Now we're going to start drawing terribly. Okay. Lava spikes us. Sounds good. We go down to 10. Do you have two more burn spells? Lava. And that's enough. Because six plus four. Cool. All right, that was the first league with burrows and infects ended up three two um That last match was very just unfortunate. I feel we definitely could have done better but I like I didn't want to keep that That one hand that we I sat on for a while and then we just got unfortunate mulligans from then on so, you know, when you're down to three cards, you're probably not winning any matchup. And then the other loss was to Sultai Reclamation, which was those games were close. We just, you know, they got to the point where they were casting more than we could deal with. 